Hi there, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today we're going to do this dot painting tutorial and do this abstract style of dot painting and it's just a simple little flower in a really pretty colorful background. You could, you could lay it this way or this way. It totally up to you and you can change the shape of the flowers if you like. So let's get started. Now the supplies you're going to need is a paint surface of some kind and I'm using a canvas board here. This is a five by seven piece and you could use mixed media art paper or some watercolor cards. If you decide to use paper, then you wanna use some gesso and paint the back side of the paper to balance the tension of the paper on the front side so it doesn't curl and then I have these dot painting tools, the DIY dot painting tools. And if you're new to dot painting, I do have a beginner's tutorial where I show you how to use tools that you can find around the house, like skewers and Q-tips and things like that. So do check that out. Uh, but these are lovely to use. This is a small set. And then the paints that I'm using for this tutorial are the Americana liquid acrylic paints. They have a nice consistency and so I have saffron yellow, bright orange, coral blush, royal fuchsia, lavender, sour apple, holly green, uh, desert turquoise, and burnt sienna. And for the outside here, the outline of the flower, I'm doing in shades of purples and blues and I only had the lavender in the Americana but I do have these medium body paints and I have violet ultramarine and blue violet and I'm going to thin these out using acrylic glazing liquid and I'll show you how to do that and you want at least three different colors of the purples to go around the outside. You'll need a paint dray, a foam brush, some assorted smaller brushes, and a little uh, damp rag and paper towel and some water in a glass. Now we're going to start by preparing the surface. So I am using the canvas board, so I don't need to prepare the back. But remember, if you're working on watercolor paper or art paper, that you do want to prepare the back of the surface with a layer of gesso or just regular paint in order to balance the tension of the paper. Because when you paint on the front, there'll be tension from the paint and it'll cause the surface to curl. So you want to balance that out. Now for the background, I like to create a bit of a generic abstract scenery background and I'm starting with the holly green. So starting with the grass color and I'm just going to pour the paint right onto the canvas and I'm going to get my little foam brush wet a bit and I'll start spreading on layers of color that are somewhat like what they would look like in nature. So this is a sour apple and you can create a background in any kind of design that you like. You could just do sort of a real a mix of colors. Here I'm using some desert turquoise and blending that in. This is the ocean blue which I didn't show in the beginning, turquoise blue, or sorry, Bahama blue. I didn't show that in the beginning either. This is some lavender, and I'm just sort of blending the colors together. This is royal fuchsia, and a little bit more royal fuchsia, and then this is the bright orange, and then last I'm doing the saffron yellow, and then I have some finger marks there, so just go back and blend that in. And I have a bit of orange and yellow, but that's okay. It just sort of blends those colors down below, which looks good too. And just blend it all together. And now you just wanna let that dry really well. Now we're going to draw the flower onto the painting. And in my little book of ideas, I just did this little doodle sketch to try out 
the number of petals and the shape of the petals and where to position it. And of course you could create any shape flower that you like. And this is what I came up with. So uh, starting with a pencil, just draw the shape of the flower. And I'm not going to position it perfectly in the center. I'm gonna have it sort of down towards the bottom. So I'll start with the center of the flower, just creating a partial oval. Just speed it up here. And then my leaves are just sort of a, sort of a round a shape with a point. And I'm going to create five petals. And it's just a really simple petal shape. And finishing with the fifth one is a half petal. And you can see, here, I'll turn it back around here. Now, of course, you could just stop there and have just the five petals, but I'm going to carry on and do another layer of petals. So going in between those petals, again, creating another layer of the same type of shape of petal and making these just a little bit smaller than the first layer. So you'll have four of these petals all together. And this one goes off the canvas a bit. So just like that. And you can see how that looks. Now I'm starting with this medium body paint. So I'm going to thin it using this acrylic glazing liquid. And um, this just takes a little bit of uh, playing around with to get the paint to the consistency that's per good for dotting. So you have to experiment a little bit. So this is a fairly heavy uh, medium body paint. So I'm adding about an equal amount of the glazing liquid. And then I'll just mix that up. And then once you have it mixed up, it's, it's still pretty thick. So I'm going to add a little bit more glazing liquid to this. And, uh, you know, it just depends on the thickness of your paint, how much you'll have to add. So you do just have to play with this. So once you have it to a consistency that looks good, you want to test it. So take one of your dotting tools and test it on a piece of um, paper and just see how the consistency is. And that's a nice consistency. There we go. Now I've thinned all the medium body paints and then I will just put a damp cloth over top to keep them from drying up. And starting with a number five and the Amsterdam Blue Violet, you want to start outlining the petals or start by outlining the circle, the inner circle. And you want to do the dots sort of randomly. You don't want to go in a straight line. Just sort of go back and forth. And you can walk the dots a little bit with this dotting tool. And do some little ones and some medium ones. And so this number five tool, you can use it to get your first uh, bigger dot on. And then as you run the dots, they go a little bit smaller. So you can see how that looks. And then, then you can go and do the same thing around the petals. So outlining the edge of the petals and just doing it kind of random and creating bigger dots and smaller dots, walking the dots, again, doing them kind of random, but in a, in a line. So just work your way around the outside of the flower and again, this is a, a number five and I'm using different pressures to make the dots a different size. So go ahead and do that. All right, so you can see it's like a rough outline of the flower and right here, I had to quickly wipe it off. I put my hand down and I smeared my dots. So if that happens, just quickly take a damp cloth and dab it off because the paint was still wet. So then there's just a little bit to touch up here. So I'm just bringing in my greens and blues and um, putting a little bit of water on the brush, just a little bit and blending that in. And 
it's a, a little bit a little bit fussy but um, we're going to end up painting over all of this later on anyways so just touch it up like that and let that dry really well and then we'll carry on so now i'm using the artist loft violet color and being very careful not to put your hand in the dots start by dotting into the inside of those um, darker dots and fill in and sort of randomly fill in go in between the darker dots but also create a line of the lighter dots and again using that number five size dotting tool running uh, walking the dots creating smaller dots in there and you can see how I'm just sort of filling it in to the inside and filling in some of those darker spots there so you can see how that looks worked all the way around so now I'm working with the last color the Amsterdam ultramarine blue and again using the same number five tool and working towards the center of the petals and then working the color into those other two blue tones sort of mixing them all up and little and then I'm using the smaller tool now like the number one and two to get little dots in between some of those other dots so I'm using no bigger than a number five I'm using number one to five size dotting tools and then here we go and you can see how nicely this is coming along and I did put a little bit of the medium purple on the inside of the center of the flower but uh, just a little bit because we're going to be doing a different color in the center so now we're going to use the lavender and do the same thing where we're just going to do another layer of dots with this and I here I'm going down in size to the number four the four and three dotting tool because the dots are getting a little bit finer in here and so I'm just working this light lavender into the middle of the flower and working that all the way around and you can see how that's coming along and filling in some of those little spaces with the smaller dots and there we go And I know it's a little bit hard to see, but now we're going to add some saffron yellow. And now again, I'm just flipping my board to keep the dots away from my hand. So starting with a number three dotting tool here, I'm just working some little dots into the center with the yellow. And just giving the center a bit of a punchy color and uh, and we're going to be coming in with the some other colors once we've done this layer but go but just work your yellows into the center and kind of blend them into the purples a little bit and you know working the number three two and one size dots and just working your way around and filling in that center with the yellows and you can see how that's starting to pop and now that you've worked your way around you want to let this dry really well and then we'll come back and do some brighter color dots so let it dry really well so now starting to work out from the yellow using the bright orange do a, a row of orange dots using the number four three two one dots or and running the dots just fill in a layer going out towards the outside of the petal and you may dot on top of the purple ones and that's totally fine so just start to fill out from the uh, yellow and bring that all the way along and you can see how that looks and so fill that in so now we're going to go on to the coral blush and you can see how nice that's creating nice little uh, design of the petal and again here I'm working with the number three size dotting tool I'm sorry it's a little bit off screen but again you're outlining the flower so reshaping the the flower so following along the orange dots now 
and blending them in a little bit into the orange and yellow uh, with finer dots. So carry on with the coral blush just going along the outside of the orange. And there we go. You can see how that's coming along and how it's filling in. And I'm going to come back and do a little bit more yellow in the center there. Uh, but now we're going on to the Royal Fuchsia and starting on the outside of the coral blush, do another row around the coral blush. Again, going in the shape of the petal and really uh, reshaping the, the petal and working a little bit. And we're gonna come back and fill in this dark purple with a finer dot. Um, so, and you're working again with a number four, three, two, one dotting tools, doing fine dots in between, uh, blending the colors together, but mostly keeping it on the outside of the orange. And again, I'm going to put a bit more yellow in here. So I'll um, carry on and we'll see you when that's all filled in. All right. So here, here it is. And I did a little bit more of the yellow. And so that's filled in nicely. So now we're going back with the darkest purple and using the number two and number one dotting tool and just fill in with really fine dots, the gaps and redefine the outside of the flower. And so there you go. You can see how that's just really defining the flower and see what a difference that makes. So go ahead and do that all the way around and you can fill in a little bit more of the center flower piece as well. Great. So now we're going to do the center piece here. And for that, we're using the burnt sienna and starting in the very center of the flower, you're going to work a half circle with the, this brown tone. Again, just sort of, um, I've gone back to a number five tool here, running the dots or walking the dots, I mean, and um, just sort of making them random and filling in the center. And then we're gonna come in with the yellow. And I'm using a number five and walking the dots and just filling it in randomly, filling in this center part with the saffron yellow. And there we go. And working the saffron yellow down into the brown a little bit. And then you just wanna let that dry really well. We're gonna come back and do another layer. All right, so while this is drying in here, or originally I was going to dot paint the background, but I really like this painted background. So I, I should have done two layers before I put the flower on. But what I've been playing with here is I've been working on the green tone and just using a paintbrush and a little bit of water and, um, and mixing my light green and dark green. I've just sort of blending the colors in, adding another layer of the green and working my way uh, along the edge there with the brush and then adding some of the blue and just painting over with another layer. And this is a little bit fussy. And if you've watched this video ahead of time, then you could maybe put two layers on to start before you start putting the flower on. But I'm just working this in here and adding another layer of paint and blending it together with all the different colors and working it as close to the dots as possible. And we'll come in with another layer of dots later to fill in um, around the outside. So just working the colors in like that and you can see how that looks. So you can go ahead and do that and fill that in all a little bit more. And you can see how it's coming along. And I'm blending the colors in. 
and I'm up to the hot pink and I didn't use the coral color in here but I'm actually going to add some in now for this layer just to add a little bit of that coral into my sort of sunset colors and just blending that all in and adding a little bit of water to help the colors mix together a little bit not too much water just just a little bit and so carrying on with that and then I'm going to add some yellows all right so you can see how nice that looks and I just carried on and blended and I think that looks really nice so now going back into the center here, I'm going to add a little bit more of uh, the brown dots and a really fine, I'm using a number one here and I'm blending that into the yellow a little bit. And then I'm adding some yellow up into the purple a little bit. And just sort of filling it all in and blending the browns and yellows into each other and into the purple. And once you're done, you can, you can go back and see if there's any places that you missed that you want to fill in. And I'll probably do a little bit more yellow in this petal here. And, and maybe a little bit here. So just, just go back and see if you need to add any more color and any more of the petals like that. So go ahead and do that. And then we're going to outline it. And uh, I've touched the background up a little bit more. I did a third layer of blending. And then this bright shadow is kind of obvious. Now you can leave that because that actually looks a little bit cool. It depends on how it looks on your painting. But I am going to take a bit more of the dark purple and I have the number one dotting tool. And I'm just gonna go around the outside and blend in that light color a little bit with some really fine dots, just a layer of really fine dots. And just to take away that, that bright spot around the outside of the flower. So go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. All right, so there it is, all done. And you could even uh, have it this way, which looks really nice or have it this way it looks with looks good both ways i kind of like it like that so there you go so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel for more creative and inspiring videos thank you for joining me